Russian wildfires threaten to stir Chernobyl ashes, global heat is definitely on, and funny lady Margaret Cho gets serious about the oil spill. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, August 12th. More bad news for Russia. The fires, which have covered the capital Moscow in a poisonous haze, are now threatening to stir radioactive particles left over from the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster back into the air over Western Russia. Environmentalists say the most dangerous radioactive elements left by Chernobyl are cesium and strontium, which, with repeated exposures, could raise the risk of cancer and genetic disorders. Now, here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. Feeling hot this summer? You're not alone. 17 nations from around the world are making or breaking their records for high temperatures. Moscow's had what is believed to be the worst heat wave in a thousand years. Pakistan may have set the record for all of Asia this summer with an insane 128 degrees. And nations from the Ukraine to the Solomon Islands have broken their own records. Unfortunately, these scorchers may become the norm worldwide and in the U.S. Scientists believe that by 2040, exceptionally long heat waves could become way more common due to climate change. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, stand-up comedian Margaret Cho is donating some of the proceeds of her Cho Dependency Tour to the Institute of Marine Mammal Studies, who are helping to save the animals in the Gulf. As Margaret points out, the well may be capped, but the oil is still spreading, and there's nothing funny about that. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.